Good day, everyone. You're welcome to this week's Business and Investment Tips program, a production of RCCG Christchurch Radio with Ayo Deji Ibo, an investment professional. This week, the focus is on frequently used terms in stock investing. The Nigerian stock market has appreciated 19% or 5.5 trillion naira since the swearing-in of President Tinubu on May 29, 2023. This has spurred significant interest in the Nigerian stock market. As a result, we thought to discuss the frequently used terminologies to guide beginners and intermediates in the stock market. We have also produced podcasts on investing in stocks as well as basic metrics for selecting stocks which are available on our YouTube channel. It's important to reiterate that stock investing is for investors with a medium to high risk tolerance and long-term investment view. Some of the frequently used terms are 1. Trading account. To begin trading in stocks, you must open a trading account with a stockbroker. Most stockbrokers have online trading platforms now, meaning you can open your account online and submit the required documents. All orders to buy or sell shares take place through the trading account. 2. CSCS and CHN account. The CSCS account is where the stocks you buy are kept and are opened with the details you provide when opening your trading account with your stockbroker. CSCS is Central Securities Clearing System and carries out the settlement, which is buy and sell, of your transaction in the Nigerian stock market. The clearing house number, CHN, is the unique number that identifies each investor in the Nigerian stock market and is linked to your stockbroker. You cannot trade without a CSCS and a CHN number in the Nigerian stock market. 3. Stock price. A stock price is how much it costs to buy or sell one share in a company. The price is determined by demand and supply, which is driven by information. The tracking of share prices is important to stock investors. 52-week high and low means the highest and lowest price the stock has traded in the last year. Day high and low also signifies the highest and lowest price the company traded in a day. The opening price is always the closing price of the previous day, and the daily price change is the movement between today's closing and opening prices. 4. Commissions or fees. The stockbrokers and regulators charge fees when you buy and sell. The fee is a percentage of the value of the buy and sell transactions. The total maximum fee for buying is 1.8% and selling is 2.1%, excluding the 4 naira alert charged per transaction but including VAT on brokerage commission. The breakdown of the fee for buy trades is SEC at 0.3%, stamp duty at 0.08% and brokerage fee is 1.35% excluding 7.5 VAT. Sell fees include NSC charge at 0.3%, CSCS at 0.3%, stamp duty at 0.08%, and brokerage fee is 1.35%, excluding 7.5% charge. Brokerage fees are negotiable with your stockbroker, depending on the volume of transactions. 5. Market and limit orders. A market order is an order to buy or sell a stock immediately, while a limit order is an order to buy or sell a stock at a specific price or better. Market order allows you to trade the stock for the going price, while limit orders allow you to specify the price you want. Trades will only execute partially or fully when it reaches the limit price. 6. Bid and offer. The bid is the price an investor is willing to pay for the stock, while the offer price is the price that an investor is willing to sell the stock for. Some of the trading platforms have bid and offer prices. This can help you determine your limit price. 7. Market Capitalization Also known as Market Cap refers to how much a company is worth as determined by the stock market. This is the total market value of all outstanding shares of a company. 8. Market index. This is the measure of the value of some or all the shares in the stock market or a stock market sector. E.g., the Nigerian All Share Index measures the performance of all stocks on the Nigerian exchange, and the Banking Index measures the performance of banking stocks. S&P 500 tracks the performance of the largest companies listed on the stock exchange in the United States. 9. Market Volume and Value Market volume is the total number of shares traded on an exchange, while the value is the total number of shares multiplied by their share prices. 10. Capital Gains Stroke The price of a stock will go up or down over time. 
There is a capital gain when the current price is above the price you bought and loss when it's lower than the price you bought. 11. Profit taking. This is when investors decide to sell shares that have appreciated over time to lock in their gains. Actual profit is only made when you have sold shares that have gained. 12. Sell off. This means that investors are selling their shares which may be due to several reasons such as negative news about the company or economy at large or due to a significant price increase in the market and so on. 13. Averaging down. This investing strategy involves buying additional shares after their prices are falling, resulting in a lower average purchase price. 14. Cost averaging. This is when you decide to buy stocks in bits over a long period. This helps you to navigate the price volatility in the stock market. 15. Stock diversification. This is the practice of spreading your investment across different stocks or sectors. This helps you to reduce the volatility in your portfolio over time. If one stock is down, the other may be up. 16. Stock Portfolio This is a collection of stocks investors have in their accounts. 17. Entry and Exit Price The entry price is the price at which an investor purchases stock and an exit price is the price that the stock is sold. It's a good strategy to have a target exit price if you are not investing for the long term. 18. Bull and bear market. A bull market occurs when stock prices are rising for a certain period, while a bear market occurs when stock prices are declining for a period. Positive information drives the bull market and vice versa. 19. Dividend yield. This is a dividend per share relative to the share price. It is a return on the stock based on dividends. 20. Corporate actions. A corporate action is an event agreed upon by a company's board of directors and authorized by the shareholders that is likely to cause a material change in the company's share price. This includes dividends, bonuses, the release of financial results, acquisitions, and so on. Thank you for listening. Please join us same time next week for another exciting and insightful session. For comments and feedback, kindly forward to ebo.iodeji at gmail.com or send an SMS to 07082463747. Stay blessed.